I am so damn late on these reviews, or well, review and video, I don't give a fuck. I was busy, and Raul Silva said I didn't have to apologize. What a genuine person. I, I genuinely actually do appreciate that. But I need more videos up, so here is my late work. It's kind of like high school all over again. Either way, this is not a review by the name of the video if you didn't read it. What's up, folks? My name is Tanner, and I am fashionably late, and I do not like Dark Alliance, but this isn't a review because I didn't beat it. I beat the first few missions, and then I call it quits, so I can't review it. I won't review it. It's not fair. But I'm going to tell you why I dislike it. Dark Alliance looked like a swift take on the D&D games. I, I don't recall a third-person Dungeons & Dragons game like this one. Now, I, I could be wrong, but as far as I'm personally aware of, this is the first. And if I am wrong, I don't give a fuck. But this game was hyped up. It wasn't hyped up like a Red Dead or something like that. I mean, it was hyped up as like a, a beat-em-up because that's what this game is. And Polygon actually said it felt like Gears of War. Wouldn't that get you all, like, excited? Now, let me tell you something, Polygon. Don't ever throw shade at my series by comparing Dark Alliance to it. Polygon, that's your first and last warning. Now, granted, I did enjoy what I saw in the story. I mean, it's uber geeky, which I'm down with, and I'm not familiar with the story, but I do know that this takes place after the 1988 Crystal Shard story, and Salvatore said if you read the books, then this game will be more enjoyable connecting the story together. I can't confirm or deny that, but I can confirm that the gameplay is some trash. Now, they boast on the co-op experience, collecting new gear sets, a gameplay you want to be a part of, you want to get the loot. Unless you are a logical gamer, then you got better shit to play dating back to your PlayStation 1. First and foremost, this game was not designed for people who love platformers. And I say that due to the obvious red carpet at every single pit that you need to hurdle over. Letting you know that you need to jump or you're going to die. Now I get it, Mirror's Edge has the red guide system as well, but that can be turned off. This cannot. It is literally a red carpet at every single area that you can jump at, as if we are fucking idiots who don't know how to platform in games. Now second, the combat was clunky, and the AI is some of the worst I've ever seen. Stay far back enough, they will not chase you. Go fight them, and sometimes they're just going to stand there and let you beat them to death. Now, as for the combat in itself, I played as Wolfgar, who is the Barbarian. They also want you to get hyped up for some of the mechanics. So, let's go over a couple. Uh, you know, like a camp where you can rest at, but if you do, enemies are supposed to respond. They don't, but the, the prompt told me they do. So, I think that might be a bug. And if you do ignore that camp, you get better loot, but the enemies are harder. Hmm. I think Dark Souls might have done that. Now, what type of gear you find is also determined by the difficulty you choose to play on before you start the mission. Which, by the way, I was above the recommended power level to step up on my difficulty. I go in, and these enemies are sponges. There is no balance. They, The enemies gain more health. They deal more damage. And yet, I get to have fun swinging what feels like a rubber axe while they laugh at me. It is not fun. Now this game also features many bugs and three notable ones I had was I was waiting on an elevator and I just randomly started levitating into the ceiling. My camera got turned around so instead of the camera being attached to my back it was attached to my the front of my face and I could not fix it unless I died and as you can see I am trying to fix it without dying but I have no luck. And another one, um, I couldn't access some of the camps, so beware. This means enemies get tougher if you don't rest. So if you're having a rough time already, and you just need to get to a camp to get some health and collect your thoughts, it may be bugged, and you may be fucked. Now I get it, some people may like this game. I personally know people who love it. I know, I know two, actually, who love it, not a lot, but I do know more who hate it. And I gave it a better chance than they did, but... When I'm getting hounded by bugs added on to the sloppy combat, I'm done. I, I tried to enjoy this game, but I could not. I was excited. Now, the only thing worthwhile uh, was some of the story and some aspects of the design, but the beef of this title that it brags on, the gameplay, fails. It's not fun. It's just more infuriating. And I mean, if you like it, I I'm glad you like it, no doubt. And I do hope you get whatever you wanted out of this game, but th th this is not for me. It reminds me of Marvel's Avengers, except... I would rather play Marvel's Avengers. Matter of fact, I would rather play Werewolf, Apocalypse, Earthblood, or whatever the hell that terrible game was called. That's all I got, folks. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button. If I offended you because you like Dark Alliance, just know I do respect your opinion. You're just here listening to my opinion. That's it, folks. Till next time.